Hi friends, now we are going to do, we are going to simplify the business partner uh, screen and uh, using the personas, SAP personas. So the first thing that we have to do is we are going to SICF, so I'll start from scratch. Okay, so I'm here, I go to SICF, that's the transaction code, and here I put the service name, personas. Okay? And here I'll execute. After that, I'll just hit test service and this will open up the screen. And if you open up for the first time, it will ask for the user ID password. But here it brings me the purchase order screen and I'm going to the BP screen. So that's the new thing. So BP, this is, as you know, it's an S4 HANA system. And here I want to create a personal screen. So what I'll do is I'll create one of these and then click. Uh, and I'll give it eleven underscore BC underscore test. So this is the and then and I'll give a description. Okay. So on create. Once this is done, we will try to simplify the screen a little. Okay. So we'll simplify the screen by, you know, uh, you have a business partner. And uh, so what is a business partner you should be having? Uh, you probably want a button for, for displaying the purchase orders. You want a button for displaying all the invoices. So we'll build something similar to that. So what we are going to do is I will just click insert and I'll click transaction button. Uh, I'll put, suppose I can display it. I can say purchase order list. That would be good. And I will say in QM, probably as a transaction code. So click done. So here it is. So, so this is the purchase orders list. So I can change it. I'll give some a little bit of color. So I'll put the fill as suppose I'll make it in green and I can make this as bold. Okay, and so here is the purchase order list. Similarly, I can create another transaction button for the invoice list. Okay, so I can put invoice list. Okay. So I'll put vendor invoice list. But they can be customers also, right? So we'll put FBL 1N and I'll put done. Same thing, I'll push it here and I'll just give a fill of seconds. I'll give blue probably and I'll make this bold again. Vendor invoice list and then I have purchase order list. And again, what I'll do, I'll create another one for sales order. Sales order list. Okay. And suppose here I'll just put VA03, suppose. And I put B. And here I have sales order. And I can put another color. So I'll put this, suppose. Yes this and I'll make this bold so sales order list and then customer invoice list so I'll just put another one customer invoice list and now I'll just do FBL 5 and and I click done and here I have this one that's nice and we will just put another color if you just make this like this and I'll make this bold so this is done and I'll click on save now this is saved now if I try to click on start um, so here you can see uh, which is order I can change this I don't want to change it so I'll click on exit now now if you see this is the vendor so so here you can you can try to find things 
but if you click on purchase order list okay let's see we're going to click on purchase order list i get to see the purchasing document okay and it's up to you which which one you want okay so here i'll just hit the back button okay then i click on in vendor invoice list i see this and now sales order list so no one has to really know all the transaction code you can get all this information from the one screen which is bp and here we can click on customer invoice list you get to know all these things and so this is the way you can simplify we just simplified the number of buttons we just added okay so if you want you can further simplify more stuffs so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and i have sap learning and if you'd like it share and subscribe to it and have a great day